coffee. This has got my collagen and my nut pods in it. Also put some of this essential oil in it to help because uh, <clears throat> my allergies are bothering me. My husband has the flu and so does my daughter. So I am trying to keep myself well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for work. <clears throat> All right, so I cooked a breakfast casserole to bring to work. Um, this one is just some leftover salsa verde with some spices, eggs, a little sour cream, and some heavy whipping cream, um, and cheese. So that is what's happening with this one. Um, and it's sort of a small uh, container because there's only like four of us, so I figured that'll make us four servings. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put some foil on this and haul it to work. Right, guys I am done with work I just uh left so I'm headed to pick up the grandkids oh look it's an Oscar Mayer weenie mobile that's funny um sorry squirrel uh <clears throat> anyway I'm going to pick up the grandkids uh for breakfast as you saw I had that breakfast casserole and added some turkey sausage to that and it was really good um nice little hot breakfast uh going home I'm not sure if these kids have eaten yet but go home and figure out what I'm gonna have for lunch and I will show you that when I figure that out myself. I've got all that shredded chicken for my meal prep, so I should probably be doing something with that, but I will show you when I figure it out. All right, for uh, lunch, uh, this is leftover chicken enchiladas with the egg life wraps uh, that I made the other day. I was just checking in. <laughs> I had to run up to the store to get uh, my husband some more medicine and after dropping the kids off and I got a few other items. I'll do a grocery haul, it'll be included in my next, my next grocery haul uh, from Walmart that I needed that they, I can't get at, at Aldi or whatever. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to touch base to, with you guys on the erythritol study. If you haven't read that or seen that going around, you probably will. Um, and when I first saw it, it was a little bit shocking, but I thought maybe I would share with you what um, I kind of read and then um, but I highly encourage you, I'm going to try to remember to link down below, to go and watch Maria Emmerich and also Dr. Barry did a video on it. Both of them do a really great job of explaining the study and how the, they're coming up with these findings. How, they're, how the people that, are, that did this study didn't even, don't even know what these people ate. And it was done, I think, on eight people. So it's very, it's not a randomized study, so it's not really done... Um, there's no causation and whatnot, but if you go in, if you go watch uh, their video, they explain it really well. Um, and the fact that Maria Emmerich is super clean and is not giving up erythritol um, nor <clears throat> stopping feeding it to her family makes me feel a lot better as well. Um, I was, I, it's not that I consume it every day, anyways, because I don't. I don't have a lot of sweet treats on a daily. I do now and then, but it's like. Um, I know a lot of people when they became keto, that's how they overcame the way they used to eat by being able to have those sweet, uh, replacement treats, right? That aren't sugar, real sugar. Um, so if you're concerned about it at all, I would definitely highly recommend one reading the study, but then also, um, take with a grain of salt, um, and go watch Maria's video and Dr. Barry's video because those are, they're very, very well, well explained. Um, about them. I need to get a drink. Hold on. I've got so much drainage that my throat is like sore from drainage. But anyways, I just wanted to touch base on that because I know that when I first saw it, it was very concerning to me. And I'm sure some of you guys, it is the same as well. Um, but I feel like there's so many things that they say cause cancer, cause this, cause that. And everybody can't agree on anything. Now they're trying to say eggs are bad again. I mean, it's, I need to back up. Hold on. Oops. Let him go. Um, so it's just really, um, you have to think about the, the study, who did the study, how the study was done. Um, and kind of also, y'all, not to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but um, what their agenda is. Because, I mean... Who paid for the study, right? Um, those are things too. And, and that goes for the one about red meat. 
there's some studies about red meat that they say there's things in red meat that cause cancer, but then those same those same things that are in red meat that are that they say cause cancer is also in certain fish, which is what they tell you to eat for heart, you know, for cardiac cardiac and stuff like that. So it's like <laughs> if they're switching to from one to the other, you know, it makes no sense. So just do your research and you'll be good. There's so much traffic. Anyway, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna make Hope's uh, Cuban sandwich casserole for dinner um, because I've been wanting to make it and I haven't gotten around to it because of my back stuff. And I've got all the stuff to do it. So I'm going to make that for dinner tonight. So I will see you guys and talk to you guys again when I get home, if I can get out of this Walmart parking lot. All right guys, here is the Cuban sandwich casserole. I can't wait to try this. To go do a Zoom meeting first and then I'll get to try it. All right, so this is my serving of the casserole. It looks delicious and I made a little side salad to go with it and drink it on LaCroix. All right, today's ending macros are 1856 calories, 175 protein, 18 carbs, and 117 fat. Guys, I am out on my walk. This is the next day. Um, I just wanted to give you an update. I went to the doctor um, this morning because uh, I've been on the medication for four weeks, um, and I'm upping I up to the next dose today. Um, so we'll see what happens. So far, um, like I said, no side effects. Sorry, thought I had a carb on me. Um, no side effects. Um, too bad, but with a higher dose, we'll see. I might get some things, um, but we'll find out. I will give you another update on this next week um, for that. And yeah, so I am back to rucking. That was the other update this month. I have some goals. Um, I took a, some of the weight out because of my back. I don't want to overdo it with my back still healing from all the muscle pull and whatnot going on. Um, so normally I have 20 pounds in here and I've taken it down to 10 because I don't want to overdo it. But I'm doing 48 miles to Ruck for Mission 22, which I'll um, post a pic up of that. Um, this month I'm still doing the January, January, March Steps Challenge <laughs> with the WAC fam. Um, and also uh, with Derek's journey, my team, I think I'm on the Guardians this time. Um, so all of that will go together and uh, I am also continuing the solid 55 challenge with Shelly, who, who had asked uh, us to do that with, with her. And let's see, what else am I doing? Just continuing tracking, doing all the things, um, and uh, trying to get my back healed. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to update you guys and thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. We'll see you guys in the next video.